linear search so linear search we can also call it as a sequential search so linear search is a searching algorithm so we can use it to search an element in a list so, so linear search is a method for finding an element within a list okay within a list or an array so it sequentially checks each element of the list until a match is found so if the element is lost element it will search elements from first to last that means if there are n elements so in this linear search it will search all n elements so binary search algorithm and hash table are hash tables are faster than linear search so so in real time linear search would be the least used search algorithm so most of the people will use hash tables or binary search algorithms okay if you want more information you can get it from wikipedia okay so let's uh, do some example to understand it better in c sharp dot net okay so first uh, let's take uh, an array Consider that these are the elements in the array. Okay, so I have taken an array, and these are the elements from the array. So now, so we need to find out a given number from this array. Okay, so let's take a number from uh, console. Integer. Given number equal to to convert dot. So here we need to add system namespace at the top. Two in thirty two console dot read line. So as we all know that read line will return data as a string. You can see here. So the return type is always string. That's why I'm converting it to integer. So it's a given number. Now so we have an array and we have a given number to find that number in the array okay so in linear search so we'll simply write for loop and roll number start length so we'll search entire array so we are taking the length of the array now um I will compare roll numbers of i is equal equal to given number. So if the indexed number is equal to equal to given number, then console dot right line. Search is successful. And 
so the search is successful and i want to print the number console dot right line off uh the given number so is the n index or So position. So let's reduce the size. Very much. Okay. So I'm saying that. So if the number is matching. the given number and the current uh, looped number so i'm saying search is successful the given number the number is in some i index or i plus 1 position so why i'm using i plus 1 because the index starts with 0 that's why i'm saying if the element found at a uh, 0th position we can say 0th index and uh, Eight zero at index, or so we cannot say zero at position. So we need to say first position or second position like that. So zero at index and first position. Okay. So if we don't find this one. console or right line off unsuccessful so we should not display this always so that we need uh, a boolean value search found equal to initially false and we'll make it true once the search is found so the search is found so now i'll say that search found is true We should not print this. If this false, then only we'll print this. So these are the numbers, and this is the given number from console. We need to find this inside this array. Okay, let's run this. So we have a one, two, eleven. Let's search for eleven. Okay, I'm I'm running this. Uh, it's a, it's good to print uh, something here like uh, and uh, number 2 it has all number 2 search so this would be a little bit meaningful so after reading this user will enter the number so let's search for uh, whatever 11 so i'm running this let me put a console dot so that it will stop for uh, our command to close this 
So I'm running this. It's taking a bit more time. Yeah, so uh, let's make it bigger. So enter roll number to search. So it is asking the roll number to search. So let's give a zero. Uh, okay, let's give a valid number 11. Search is successful. The given number 11 is in second index so 0 1 2 second index or third position so so it's a successful so let's run it again so now let's give a number which is not there in the array Okay, I want to give a 3. 3 is not there. So, search is unsuccessful. 3 is not there inside that array. So, this is how linear search will work. So, it's recommended to go for binary search or a hash tables when you are dealing with large number of lists because linear search will check each and every value inside its list. Okay, thanks.